Hello, everybody, and welcome to this summer reading program's very last Tuesday night steam night. I know it's very sad, but I hope you have been enjoying summer reading, um, and I hope you've been enjoying these Tuesday night programs that um, Miss Carrie and I have been doing. Um, for those of you who don't know me. Um, my name is Miss Kate. I am the teen librarian at the Wilson County Public Library, and um, I'm really glad that you are joining us this evening. So, we've been learning a lot about animals and um, the science behind animals and learning different crafts all over the summer. So, this week's STEAM program, should you choose to accept it, your mission, is it's called a the Creature so C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, like create, and U-R-E, -E, like creature, but create your uh, steam challenge. So what is that exactly? Well, if you go to the um, youth services desk and you pick up a kit for this week, what you're going to find inside are um, you're going to find modeling clay, you're going to find pipe cleaners, um, you're going to find clothes pins, all sorts of materials. But what I want you to do is use those mater materials and any others that you might have at home and create your very own creature. Now, you might say, Kate, that sounds, that sounds pretty easy. Like, I can make anything with this. No, no, there is a creative element to this. So I need you to listen very, very carefully, okay? Are you listening? Here, come closer. Are you listening? Okay, good. Okay, so there are a couple of things that you need to do with this. Number one. This has to be an animal or a creature that we have never seen before, okay? So it can't be a hedgehog or a pig or a dog or a cat or a moose. It can't be anything like that. It has to be something we've never seen. And that includes mythical creatures. It can't be like a pegasus, it can't be a unicorn or anything like that. This has to be a creature that has never been seen before. Okay, but not only that, but this creature has to have a way of moving. You have to let us know what it eats. What is it called? Is it a young creature or an old creature? How long has it been around? What are its defense mechanisms? Does it have any predators? Where does it live? Is it a reptile, an amphibian, a mammal, a fish? You know, what is this? So that's the, that's the thing. So you you can create this, but you have to let us know what it is. And all those kind of things like, um, you know, what it eats, what's its source of energy, things like that. So, I don't know, you think you can do it? Oh, and no Pokemon. I know Pokemon are adorable, but you cannot make Pokemon. You can make Pokemon in your free time, but <laughs> not with this. So anyway, that is your mission, should you choose to accept it. And these kits are available at the youth services desk right now for you to pick up. And when you do create this, post on our Facebook page, send us an email, let us know what you made because we wanna know all about it and we wanna see your wonderful creations. So with that, good luck. Go make those animals. I can't wait to see what you come up with. I bet it's going to be lovely, way better than anything I could do. I can promise you that. And um, so have a great rest of your summer. Stay safe, and we hope that you have enjoyed this summer reading program. Take care.